the birth of human life, often described as a miraculous process. And one Israeli doctor wants to figure it out inside lab conditions. But how? An artificial womb. Dr. Elad has replicated the layers of cells that make the internal lining of a uterus. He believes this can make in vitro fertilization a far more effective process. The embryo is being developed in a different environment than in the human body, where it's close to the tissue of the uterus. Currently, IVF has a 70% failure rate. Embryos grown inside a biological environment should fare a lot better. But there's more going on here than implantation. Dr. Alad believes he can use this project to perform experiments with no risks to human beings. That's what tissue engineering is all about, because we culture in the lab cells or layers of cells, and then we can play with them without ethical limitation. One such experiment, studying motion on fetus development, something that can't be tested on live people. The tools in this lab subject cells to physical motions, the exact same sort they'd be exposed to in nature. The field is called mechanobiology, and it's showing us exactly how things work. Now, once we have the endometrial model, we have developed also a system which can actually expose the model to peristaltic wall shear stresses like those which we believe happen in the human body. Peristalsis, or muscle movement, is just one such example. The idea is that different physical circumstances can drastically change fetal development, either leading to a healthy outcome or congenital defects. And growing embryos in isolation on artificial uteri will let doctors determine what those circumstances are. Ariel Levin-Waldman, I-24 News.